Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, April the 12th. Today I want to look at the ICM20948 um, IMU, and I'm going to look at it on Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 4B. In the last video, I looked at the, um, the IMU on Arduino, and here's my prototype here. I got this from SparkFun. Last time I used an Adafruit uh, PCB. This time I'm using the SparkFun. They're both uh, excellent little units. So I've got this sitting on a sort of a book to uh, isolate it from anything. And um, previously I used the GY91 board, which has the 9250 IMU, which has been replaced by the 20948. And this one I'm using with uh, open plotter here. You can see that this is the um, this is the Signal K uh, web application showing you the yaw, pitch, and roll, compass heading, temperature, and pressure. That's open plotter. But I'm going to use this this guy here with the RPi 4B. I've connected it to the GPIO. So on this particular board, I'm using 3.3 volts, uh, which is I think on pin two. I've got the details in the blog post. The ground is on pin 6, SDA pin 3, and SCL pin 5. And uh, I've got the RPi 4B connected uh, to my uh, internet router, which is down there. Uh, so I'm going to uh, look at the um, settings using VNC Viewer. So we'll go over to the uh, computer and uh, we'll look at VNC and how it's controlled. Okay, so I'm looking at the uh, RPi desktop um, with VNC viewer, and I'm just using a regular uh, Raspbian uh, load here. And um, so what I've done is I've followed the instructions. Adafruit has some excellent instructions for uh, operating the uh, IMU on Python. So what I've done is just gone to their web page. There's their web page there. And I've downloaded all the instructions and just put them in this um, a notepad file. And uh, this is basically what you do. The first thing you do is you create um, a project directory. So I've created a pro project directory under documents. I just call it ICM20948. Um, this notes uh, is this note file here. And then the next thing you do is you create a virtual environment. Uh, so you're going to run your Python in a virtual environment here. So you run this command here and then you activate the environment. And then you install the Adafruit library there. So um, that's the command to do that. And here's um, a basic file you can use. And I've transferred that over to uh, Tony. And I've created a Python file there with these, um, these commands in here. That, that'll just give you the basic output of the sensor. So we can close that. So let's just see, where am I? OK, so let's go to Documents. Okay, so I'm in the documents directory, the ICM20948 directory. There we are. And let's open the virtual environment. So now you can see here that the virtual environment is opened. And now we'll run the file. There we go. And now we're getting output. So we're getting a nice simple output here. On the top line, we have acceleration X, Y, Z. The next line, we have the gyroscope X, Y, Z, and the magnetometer. So just in summary, then, what we've done is we've connected the uh, 20948 uh, IMU to the uh, Raspberry Pi 4B. And we've created a virtual environment, and we've run the um, the Python uh, file in there to give us our output.